Chainsaw Disco Podcast. I'm your host, Lucas. I'm here with... Sam. Miguel. Tara. So, Markel. What's the last thing you watched, bro? Deadpool. Oh, bro. bro. I've also seen Deadpool. Deadpool, Deadpool is a fucking good. amazing. Deadpool you was seen a it pretty too? good Yeah, movie. I just watched it at the Cinnamon... Oh, man. I'm the only one cinnamon. The Cinnamon <laughs> Crunch? Yes. It's... Do not take your kids to it. Oh, no. do not. You are not a cool mom if you take your 12-year-old kid to You're right. our movie. You'll it's be the cool. best mom. Well, yes. 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 I agree yeah. with Mark Hill. Because like, if your kid can't handle it, obviously you don't bring it. But if your kid's mature or whatever, yeah. well, he can handle an R-rated yeah. movie. But, oh, and if you do take your kid, don't complain about yeah, exactly. it. Oh, yeah. Because they told thing. you. That it wasn't gonna be appropriate. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet. oh, there are just ads like everywhere. Like when you get to the uh, movie theater, not ads, but like they print out things. And it's always like, like just remember, Deadpool is rated yeah. rated it R. Rated just R. remember and about it's that. It's a superhero movie. I like how they advertise it as a romance movie. Awesome. Yeah, yes. I love it. Yes. I love that billboard. Yes. Yes. It's so good. I love it so much. I um a couple nights ago, Sam and I and a couple of friends watched. A movie marathon, and we watched Dog Day Afternoon, mm-hmm. Short Term Twelve, and Reservoir Dogs. And I have—that was the first time I've seen Reservoir Dogs and Dog Day Afternoon. So, what do you think of those? I enjoyed them both very much. I feel like the hype I had always heard because they're such a classic didn't mm-hmm. quite meet up, but no. hype never meets really anything. But mm-hmm. they were both very enjoyable, and I would watch them again. And Short Term Twelve was the first you. That was the first time you watched. Mm, that it. was when I hadn't seen it and you recommended it, and I thought it was great. Uh, Short Term Twelve was I had I didn't know what it was about when we started watching it. I didn't know what the title meant either, and I'm so, I'm so not sure I know what it means. Exactly. Okay. I think I know what it means. Well, but. it's about um, it's a foster care place where these kids are only supposed to stay up to a year. So, sh- mm. and it's a short term place, so it's. Yeah. Short term and then twelve mm. months. That makes sense. To a year. Yeah, I, I really liked the movie. I looked up some stuff about it afterwards, and I saw that um, it uh, it was actually uh, it was a short film first by the same director, and then he got like funding and expanded into a bigger project. Um, and I think you can kind of see that uh, not in a bad way, but in a good way, where it's like someone's really passionate about this little idea, and then other people liked it. And they're like, hey, we can we can make something more out of this. Um, and I think uh, it definitely works as a, a bigger film. Some of the other movies that start off as short films get turned into bigger movies. Sometimes you can tell, like, okay, they're kind of stretching it. That movie I thought worked perfectly. Though. Yeah, it, like, I, it never slowed down. All the subplots really worked. I have really no worked. idea about that. That was it is a it is an emotionally strong movie too because it's mm-hmm. very realistic and it's just so yeah. Weird. There were like two or three, like a handful of scenes that were really powerful, mm-hmm. that were just really emotional. Uh, the rest of the movie was great, but then there were just a few standout scenes um, where just the acting and the writing were just like top notch, and that made the whole movie. Really and amazing. as someone who wants to be a foster mother one day, <laughs> really puts into perspective why I want to be it, because kids should not be in situations like they were mm-hmm. in that, and just. Really good child acting, by the way. It's from, oh, from yes. the younger people. They were really, really good. good. Better than the adults, <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Like, like, the adults were good, too, but these children were, like, it was just more impressive because they were children, but they also had more, uh, they, they were better written. Not better written, but I think more so, written. I think the children were, like, I think the youngest was, like, 15. Yeah, yeah. They, they were, like, super young. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, the, the main girl who was on uh, Justified and um, so, some other show, the guy said the, the Tim Allen show, Last Man Standing or something, uh, she was really, really good. The girl, the... Caitlin Denver, was the actor. Her name was Jaden in the movie. Yeah. She was my favorite character by far. I it got, it has such high ratings. It has a 8 out of 10 IMDb. It has 99 on Rotten Tomatoes. A 99? That's crazy. <laughs> so speaking of the ratings, uh, we're, let's go back and do Deadpool real quick, but mm-hmm. we'll do the other ones too. Um, <laughs> what would you give it out of 100? I would give Short Term 12. I rate pretty hard, but I would still give Short Term 12 uh, an 85 out of 100. I gave it a 90, so... Yeah, 90. I wish it was like a, a more longer, like because I, I Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool, it was. It's so short. Yeah, yeah, but it yeah. is it's, really short. Yeah, but they want. They're fun. pushing yeah. for that second I, yeah, movie. Yeah, I think yeah. So yeah, I, I would give it. I'd say like an 85, 80. I'd say an 80 as well. It's it was so good. Like, it was very 95. entertaining. <laughs> We're actually getting a fucking comic book hero, right? right? Oh my god, seriously, Ooh. this is Ryan Reynolds' like yeah. passion it's, project. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Like he kept making Canadian. He's Canadian, 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 right? He's from Regina. 
What? Regina, Saskatchewan. I did not know that. Uh, so, uh, Dog Day Afternoon, Reservoir Dogs. Would you rate those two? I would give Reservoir Dogs. Uh, I give it a hundred. Honestly, I love that movie. Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> I'd also give that one hundred. You, you do not I, know. I, I did not. Well, no, um, no. Watching it again, I would take off. I'd probably give Dog Day Afternoon ninety. If you do not know kids at home, this is Sam Feather. She, uh, he loved. <laughs> Everything Tarantino. Yeah. 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 I would recommend um, uh, rewatching Reservoir Dogs like on your own, like without everyone talking, because like the yeah, dialogue no, we is kept, so dense. Let's in think about. Dogs. I did like it a lot. I would give it I like eighty five. Mm. Eighty five. I do have to watch though. it again. Yeah. Like by myself or something. It's one of those movies that the more you watch it, the more you notice. Mm-hmm. I've seen Reservoir Dogs like like thirty times at least. I love. That is there an ice cream truck? Out there? I yeah. hear it. I is hear it. Yeah. Ice cream <laughs> is that gonna get on the audio? The ice cream truck? Yeah. I, am, I, am I allowed to talk? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that's uh, that's Brian. The ice cream break. Uh, no. Um, I'm the audio guy. Hey. You can't see me. No. Yeah. Good. But um. <laughs> you know, the that's ice cream truck has come by here at two a.m. playing the okay. music. They've done that. Guys. I'm like, who's buying ice cream at 2 a.m.? Uh, and then I was like, I want to go buy ice cream. So I'm like, okay, point, point taken, ice cream man. Point, point taken. Like, you win this <laughs> round. <laughs> Make sure I don't look like trash. Oh, you look great. Let's. Thanks. Sam, don't lie to her. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Love you, Tara. Mm-hmm. You look good. Just like a bottle of trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of trash cans. Oh, what? what? No. <laughs> I saw The Witch. Yes. The I Witch. I want to see that so It bad. was really good. I really want to see that. Um, The Witch, the atmosphere was amazing. The tone, the tone of it all, the, um, it wasn't, it's not like a traditional horror movie where you have jump scares every, like, five minutes. There's virtually none of that. And it's all, it's all, it's really character driven and it's about, like, the paranoia this family gets. Like, you know, living in, like, 1630s Puritan, mm-hmm. like, Salem and everything. You, there's all that. All like the folklores and everything about witches and everything, and they really believe that. And so you can re- you can really sense like the terror and the dread in the movie while you're watching it. One thing I do want to ask is, uh, is it like the Blair Witch Project where you don't see the witch, or do you see you witches, see witch. witch or multiple witches? You do see. You see the witch. Yeah. But is it done like uh, like uh, like in a like Obscure. restrained way? Like um, you can no, you movie? can definitely see the witch. Like you can clearly see the witch. So where there is okay. a witch. And, there, there is a witch in the movie. So this is, it wasn't paranoid. It's, it's not like they, they want. It's like you, you the family is going through paranoia about it. You know, there's a witch, yeah. but the family's like they believe there's a witch, but they don't like know for sure it's there. You know. Yeah. Well, what's your score for it? Given eighty five out of a hundred. I mean, I got, I got a few here. I'll, I'll just go through these really quick. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about them. I, got one, I, got one. Um, uh, I saw when Harry met Sally. Finally, that's the old classic comedy from. Uh, the 80s. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Everyone knows that movie. I gave it an 85. I thought it was great. I finally got around to seeing it. It's a movie that's boiled down to that one Blushy. scene a lot. Ah! Yeah, oh, that man. scene. It's boiled down to that one scene a lot, but the rest of the movie is really good. Actually, I, I, I want to see that. We'll have to see it. You haven't seen it. You've only seen the Do one scene. Do you know what scene, scene they're yeah. talking about? The orgasm yeah, scene. Yeah. 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 That's like the only scene. Like people. You can't fake an orgasm. Scene. The rest really? of the movie is really good. Yeah. There you go. Um, I saw Turbo Kid. Which I was really excited for because that was like another one of those 80s throwbacks where it's like intentionally mm. campy and cheesy and mm. super gory. And I was really disappointed with it. Um, mm. It had some stuff that worked really well, but then it was just really poorly made in a lot of other areas. So I can only give that one a 61. I saw The Gambler. Actually, Turbo Kid, I'm going to review that soon. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash brickwallpictures. Another one I'm going to be reviewing soon is actually this two I'm going to be reviewing is The Gambler starring Mark Wahlberg Marky Mark <laughs> starring Marky Mark the funky bunch is not present it's me it stars Marky Mark it's him gambling and I, I worked in a I worked in a casino I'm a, you know gambling's a big part of my life I watch like any casino movie basically and this movie sucked it was so bad they got all the uh, casino stuff wrong like uh, completely wrong the, most yeah. of the movie he plays blackjack and they didn't even deal blackjack right in the movie the payouts were wrong the uh, dealers didn't follow procedure it was terrible uh, it, so, it really but the low. rest of the movie was really bad too. It got really low. I got a six on IMDb and forty six. Mm. Forty six. <clears throat> that's not good. Um, on which I feel a little bad for Mark Wahlberg because you can tell he's putting everything into this movie. Like he's uh, lost a lot of weight for it, but it's like why? Because it has nothing to do with this character. Uh, College classrooms and like studying the professors and what they did and everything. Uh, and it's like the characters are so poorly written that he couldn't save it. 
So it was a it was a bad movie, but it had like John Goodman and Michael K. Williams. It had like good supporting actors. It, it did. Was, it did. It, it was just a, it was just a bad movie. It was not good at all. But I'll do a more in depth review of that. Uh, the other movie I'm doing a review for soon on my channel. You can check out is The Lobster, which I finally saw. So I wanted to see for a long time. Who's in that one? Uh, Colin Farrell. Um. Yeah. Yep. Which I did not know going in. I mm -hmm. thought it was in Greek again, and it turns uh -huh. out it was like filmed in Ireland, and all the actors <laughs> are English. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it's by a guy named Yorgos Lanthimos. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um. He's, a, he's from Greece. He's a Greek director. He's done two movies that I saw. He did Dogtooth, which I loved. Dogtooth is amazing. Like, yeah, in a dystopian future, um, single people are sent to a hotel where they have 45 days to find love or else they are turned into animals and sent out into the forest. And that's the movie. And it's really surreal and abstract. And it's, it's really weird. But it's, at the same time, it's very funny. And it's also capable of being really disturbing. And it's got a lot of subtext and a lot of commentary on society. Big review on that coming on my channel. You can check it out. I won't even say anything about it. Serious Man by the Coen Brothers. I gave an 86. Touch of Evil. Uh, the old Orson Welles noir movie. Yeah, I gave yeah, yeah. A, a 79. I watched a movie called uh, Badland by uh, Blue Mountain State. And um, it's a horrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch it. Yeah. Um... It's, it got very. It got some good parts for, uh, for comedy, but besides that, everything else is like just over the top, kind of stupid. Why would you say that kind of comedy? You know what I mean? So yeah, don't watch it. And <laughs> it was very poorly written and stuff like that. So yeah. Mm. Wah, wah. I had to watch a couple movies for um for film history. Um, I had to watch The Artist, and I have to say I. I absolutely hated it. Oh, really? And I hated it so much. Um, I do. I like silent movies. I like silent movies. But this, it was, the acting did not reflect the acting in actual silent movies. It wasn't over the top enough like it was back in the day. And it just, I didn't like it. And the comedy wasn't reflecting the comedy in old silent movies. Just... So we've all seen that yeah. for our class. Mm -hmm. what, what did you guys think of it? I thought it was. I liked it. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't hate it. Yeah. I, I didn't yeah, love it. It, it was okay. Yeah. yeah. I liked it well enough. Also, I don't think it deserved best picture. Um, I think it drags a lot, like in the middle. Mm -hmm. oh, it had definitely. a couple of scenes I really liked. Though, like the one scene where he actually starts to hear sounds. Yeah, yeah the, the nightmare. Yeah, that was that, really cool. okay, I liked that, that one scene, scene a lot. Was. Amazing! Yeah. I loved that. The rest of it, I would flush down the toilet. <laughs> I loved it was just the novelty of it being a silent film, and then all the, the a lot of the Oscar uh, people who judge it are like really old guys. They're like, I remember silent. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this brings me back <laughs> to my youth. Yeah, it reminds me of my childhood. Sam, what's your favorite movie? Uh, one of my favorite movies talking about on this podcast is I wanted to say uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Weird. Ooh, Not The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The Good, The Bad, and The Weird. It's a South Korean Western, which is like a semi-remake of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And this might be like blasphemous, but I like The Good, The Bad, and The Weird a lot better than The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. <laughs> I absolutely love The Good, The Bad, and The Weird. It's, it's so weird because it's a South Korean Western, and that just by design seems like it shouldn't exist, really. Mm. Right? But uh, it's actually like the only South Korean Western, or at least the first, and the director called it a, a kimchi Western. Mm. You know, like Italian Westerns where yeah. uh, spaghetti Westerns is mm. a kimchi mm. Western. Yeah. So it's, it's a quirky Why is it called a spaghetti Western? Because uh, yeah, it's... spaghetti Westerns are Westerns that are made in Italy, and Italy is known for spaghetti, and that, that's seriously it. You'd think it might be with something more complicated, but that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Yeah, and that's they made so the good, great. the bad, the weird in South Korea, oh God, and they I called it, it a kimchi Western. Kim um, and it stars uh, Kang Ho Song, who's one of my favorite actors. You, you probably don't know if, unless you watch <laughs> South Korean cinema, because he hasn't done anything out of South Korea, except for Snowpiercer. He was in Snowpiercer. Oh, really? Oh, Snowpiercer. Which is actually by well, the Chris same actor as the host of the South Yeah, that one. Oh. He was the uh, the Korean guy in that who's got the daughter. In that. Oh. He's Kang Ho Song. He's the, one of the stars of the good, the bad, and the weird. Uh, the other stars of it are great. Uh, Lee Byung Hun is one of them. It's really fun, and it's uh, it's a really good time. And the story is different enough from the good, the bad, and the ugly that it's not a straight up remake. It doesn't feel like a retreading. It's original, even though it's based on a pre-existing movie. Which I love it. I just got the Blu-ray recently. And I'm doing a review of that one too, actually. So you can check that one out. Nice. Ooh, one of my favorites is Cabin in the Woods. Great. Have you guys seen that one? Yes. Yeah. Great. great, great. <laughs> it's a really good. I, I love horror movies, so this one was like. Kind of like a uh, breath of fresh air back in when it came out. 2011 it came out, too. Did it? Yeah. And um, it's a deconstruction of the horror genre. We really <laughs> love the characters in it. The um, pacing's really good of the story. Oh, yes. I mm -hmm. hate that ending so much. Oh, I love that ending. I mean, you know what? 
I'd have to watch it again. I'd probably like it, but I remember mm-hmm. watching it and it made me so angry. I was like, <laughs> same, no. Same, same. But honestly, from the end. point that they got to, there was no turning back. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. You might as well just died. Mm-hmm. So. You can't go into it thinking that it's a, a real horror movie. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I knew a lot of people like went to my high school and they hated the movie. Yep. And I was like, how could you hate that movie? And they were like, it wasn't it was so scary, scary at all. It was, <laughs> it was so dumb. And I'm like, it wasn't actually a horror movie. It's a comedy deconstruction of the horror genre. Yep. And they are like, what? What? Let's watch what? Transformers again. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen, come on. My cow? Uh, one of my favorite movies is Training Day. Oh, yeah, really good. yeah. Uh, made by one of my favorite directors, and and Tuan Fuqua. Um, I just really like this, uh, the story behind it. it. Got a lot of memorable, uh, memorable scenes by uh, Hey Jake, Jake, and all that stuff. And um, I just really like, um, I just really like the uh, the character development through mm-hmm. it. And uh, Denzel Washington's really good. Oh, yeah, one of definitely. his best performances, and he's got a lot of really good. Performances. Yeah, support supporting actor. He won an Oscar for that. Yeah, one. yeah. And um, I just love how it was put together. I grew up watching the mo- movies my mom showed me, which are very like 80s based, like mm-hmm. romantic fun movies. So I have to say one of my favorite movies is Dirty Dancing. I just, it's a fun movie to watch. When, I, when you ask me about my favorite movies, I'm not really looking at it cinematically. I'm looking at it what I like to see. Yeah, what you have like a connection to, yeah. Compress. Because, like, I do watch movies to analyze them, mm-hmm. but if you're going to ask me, a movie that I'd watch over and over and over again would be a movie that I like to sit down and enjoy and decompress and things like that. I haven't seen that song. <laughs> yeah, I haven't <laughs> seen it. <laughs> you haven't well, seen Dirty Dancing? No, I haven't. Seen you should watch it. I haven't seen Dirty Dancing. I haven't seen Full Lewis. I haven't seen Flash Dance. Haven't I, haven't seen seen, I haven't seen any of the dance-related movies. May we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll watch it. Okay. Yeah, I'll nice. show you good movies and you show me good movies. <laughs> okay, cool. Wait, did Dirty Dancing get the uh, remake or was that Footloose? That Footloose. 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 Okay. Dirty Dancing. Dirty like Dancing doesn't need to be. It had sequels. I don't oh. know if I remember. It was, it was, there was Dirty Dancing Havana Nights. I know that because it's directed by my nemesis. Havana Nights, you're right. It is. And you're. Bo Ziakin. It doesn't okay. even say he, he wrote his it, name he on wrote it. At least. I don't it got his. Well, pretty good. That's like a solid B. It's pretty good. B. Above B. average. Yeah. Above average. B movies, B movies, Sci Fi Channel. What's going on with that? <laughs> Good segue, Luke. Oh my god. <laughs> Good segue in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, okay. B movie. B movie. Uh, my like, uh, let's call this my current event corner, even though it's not a current event. This is from like like last year. Uh, the Sci Fi Channel uh, did this thing where uh, you know how there there are color changing light bulbs now. Yeah, yeah. You know about those? Mm-hmm. The Sci Fi Channel did a thing where like um, fucking forty dollars a can, bulb. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you can synchronize your color changing light bulbs to the original shows on the Sci Fi Channel. Mm-hmm. So while you like the first show that they did it was there Twelve Monkeys, monkeys right? TV yeah. show. Yeah. So when you're watching Twelve Monkeys, if you have your light bulb sucked up, the light bulbs will change color depending on like the tone of the scene. Mm-hmm. That's so cool. My um, how, I thought we could just talk about how you guys think that would affect cinema and if you think it's a good idea or not. Um, I think that is a novel idea. I definitely would use that uh, three times and then not, <laughs> exactly. not again. Like, I, my down. friend hooked up his lights to his speaker so it would affect, like, when the noise. Mm-hmm. And we were watching, oh, what was that one with the haunted mirror? Oh, Oculus. Oculus. O- Oculus. O- yeah. Oculus. <laughs> and um, it, it adds to it. Uh-huh. So hardcore, it's great. So I think if you if it sun- syncs up with a movie, I think it would really intensify yeah. movies. But if mm-hmm. you're watch- watching a happy go lucky movie, it wouldn't do much of anything. But if yeah. it, it would movie. really be for like horror movies or suspense. Oh yeah, totally. Movies, things like that. You can't watch failure to launch with that. <laughs> <laughs> The stipulations I would have with it are like like two main ones. The first one I would have would be like, I feel like I, w- I would only be okay with it if it's only for things that are developed with that in mind. Exactly. I wouldn't yeah. want them to like, because like as a director, if I made a movie, I wouldn't want like some cable network that's showing it to then sync up lights to it. Yeah. And then they're like, 
Because then that kind of changes the director's mm-hmm. vision. You know, if they go back and they take like, uh, if they took like Reservoir Dogs and they hooked up the lights and there's just flashing red mm-hmm. lights the whole time, yeah. I feel like that would take away from the movie. Totally, you know? yeah, I feel like the director needs to have input or at least mm-hmm. at least someone on the like a producer. Or something. It's like the same thing with 3D, really. Yeah, it's like I the think conversions. It's with, it in, yeah. with it in mind, mind? definitely, it could be utilized really That's well. That's a big stipulation I have. And the other thing is just like, don't be distracting from the project. Yeah, and don't use it as a crutch. Is mm-hmm. the other one like, yeah. don't make something that like without the flashlights, the lights, lights, lights right now. Yeah. Like, oh, the scene must be boring. Well, let's give some <laughs> epilepsy. <laughs> like yeah. you were saying, like very specific lighting in a movie, it could clash with. Yeah, exactly. Because like the director and cinematographer, like they lit that scene that way for a reason. Like mm-hmm. if the filmmaker wanted that scene to be red, they would have made it red. You don't then take a light bulb yeah. and shine red on the TV screen to change or, it. You know. If it's red and you add more red, it can make it. You That's true, because if it like lights up your wall red, that could really increase your immersion. So it could work. I think it just needs to be like done with that in mind, is my thing. Um, 2016 Oscars. Oscars. I thought you were going to segue so no, I thought you were just like, I think that idea deserves an Oscar. Damn. <laughs> I thought you were going to segue so <laughs> Rewind, rewind. Go, Sam. Go. <laughs> no, you do it. Do it. I think that... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Missed that. <laughs> do uh, best actor, actress, supporting actress, supporting actress, animation, directing, I'll and we'll do cinematography also. So we'll do those eight. Okay. All right, let's do cinematography first. Carol. I have, I have not seen it. Carol. Carol. Let's. As far as I'm concerned, like in cinematography, like hands down, The Revenant, like. Regardless Dude, of whatever else is nominated, Did it's got to be the Revenant. I haven't even seen it, but I've seen the trailer. <laughs> we were going to see the it. cinematography in the trailer is better than the cinematography for most finished movies. That's true. The only other film nominated that comes even close is uh, Mad Max is nominated, right? Fury yeah. Road. For, for cinematography. cinematography. Uh, yes. That's Fury the only one that. Oh, Sicario is also nominated. Oh, Sicario. 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 Sicario is really good. Hateful Eight deserves a nomination because of the 70 millimeter thing, but honestly, the cinematography isn't as good. Like, I love the Hateful Eight, but mm. the cinematography doesn't hold a candle to either Mad Max I or think, The Revenant. Just because I think of we content. just need to give Leo an Oscar, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just give mean, it to him. I think yes. he, like, he literally bit into like a lie, like a a heart. He, he lit, did. He did crazy stuff. He did like everything was actually real. He didn't. It wasn't like a prop dead horse. He mm-hmm. cut into. A, they cut into a dead horse. And he slept in an actual real life, well, real dead. Yeah. Life. So he Luke Skywalker did. Yeah. So what would you guys pick for best cinematography? Um, either Sicario or Mad Max. Just Sica- Oh my God, Sicario is gorgeous. Uh, the Revenant or uh, Mad Max. I mean, I, if I haven't seen the Reven- Revenant, but mm-hmm. I have seen Mad Max, and I will go for Mad Max. I haven't Mad, seen Mad Sicario. Max, Mad Max. Uh, oh, yeah. Who else is nominated though? Just because I know like Matt Damon's nominated. I don't think he should win for the. Matt, I haven't seen the the Martian. Yeah, I we got Leo, Brian Cranston, who whom I am in love with. Mm-hmm. I, Breaking great. Bad is my ultimate favorite show ever at this moment. Brian Cranston's great, and I do think he deserves an Oscar at some point. I don't think Trimbo is the movie to do it, mm. but I have a, I I'm, I think if if the Oscars don't go with Leo. Because they might not. It's gonna be a Brian. I think they <laughs> mu- they would probably go with Cranston, yeah, and they yeah, would probably do the thing where they like they look at a guy's career and they give it to him because of that, not the movie. Because uh-huh. Trembo, honestly, it's a little underwritten. The character doesn't have that much mm. to him to actually like. Have you seen give- it? Yeah, I've seen it. He doesn't actually get that great of a performance because the character is just not written deep enough for him to do that. Mm. So I, I hope he I hope he wins an Oscar at some point, but I don't think Trembo is the movie to give it to him. Eddie Redman. For the I, I really hope he doesn't win. He's the one that like I'll last be angry year. if he wins, but I can see it happening because he he won last that, year. And, you know why he shouldn't have won last is year? Because of the movie and everything that's going on in society mm-hmm. right now. Um, yeah, because that, that's the thing. Because it's like it's relevant. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like relevant. currently relevant. That's the that's the but thing. But everyone that is end. also going to throw a huge fit if Leo Leonardo mm-hmm. he was, he doesn't was in, win an Oscar. The theory of everything. right? Yeah, he plays yeah. Stephen Hawking, right. and he won for that. He should. I don't know. So he should not have won for that though at all. It should have been Is Michael Keaton or even uh, you and Hala. Mm-hmm. But they gave it to uh, to uh, Redman and he didn't deserve it. Um, Michael Fassbender for Steve Jobs. That one I haven't seen. No, I'm, I'm sure he's good. Michael Fassbender is really good. Yeah. Matt okay. Damon, The Martian. He, he probably should know. That one. I that movie's one. nominated for like best comedy for some reason. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I mean, there's comedy in it, but it's not. Like, it's not a comedy. comedy. But they couldn't put it up against like the big, uh, the, like dramas and stuff yeah. like that because well, it would not. Yeah. Probably should be nominated. Okay. <laughs> Kate ba- Blanchett. 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 Oh, so we're into actress. For Carol. Yes, we are. Excuse me, sorry. Um, for Carol. Mm-hmm. 
Which we haven't seen. No. <laughs> Brie Larson for Room. I really want to see that one. I want to see I that too. See that she so is a really... She was in the Short Term Public, but she, she was She was really in Short Term 12. She was in The Gambler. She was in The Gambler. I just remember that. <laughs> she, I, uh, she was I really bad say... in that, though. She was actually quite bad really? in that. Well, uh, she, in every... she didn't have anything to do with the character. It was so poorly written. Jennifer Lawrence. For joy. I want to see I'm her. so sick of her. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> I've never off. seen her in anything where I was like, you know what, she is good. I've never seen anything like that. Wait, She's always seen? been either like bad or okay. Yeah. She was okay in Silver Lines. I've book. seen actually a lot of her. I've seen the Hunger Games movies. I've heard the first one and the second one. I've seen uh, American Hustle, which she's like flat out bad in. She's really bad in that movie. I don't know. That movie she got nominated is pretty, for like, that movie pretty bad. terrible. And it got nominated for every Oscar. That's such a bad movie. I'm pretty sure she got a Best Actress or Best Supporting Actress nomination really? for that. Would she was surprised. terrible. She's doing she this like horrible the accent that year? the whole movie. Yeah, she did. I remember that. She did. Was that that year? I know she's I think so. Yeah, well, yeah. She told off somebody at the Grammy this year or something this year because they were on their cell phone and oh yeah yeah like, yeah she came off as such like an asshole yeah. like, but that. enjoy live She's... your life in the moment bro get off your phone fuck you Jennifer Lawrence <laughs> get out of here he can't speak English he's reading no but he like said he didn't say the Grammys he said like the Oscars or the yeah. Academy Awards or he, something she didn't, she didn't even let him finish the sentence though he, he was gonna say how do you think you're gonna fare at the Oscars and she's like it's the Academy Awards not the Oscars and I'm like, it's the Grammys <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> bro. Me. All right, well, she's not made for joy. Has anyone seen that? Nope. I want to see that because yeah, I, I am a fan too. of her. I do like her. Um, Charlotte Rampling what in is she 45 years. Oh, mm. is that a foreign film? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. What's that worried about? I don't, I, don't know. I don't think we've seen any of the best uh, actresses no. in movies. Was Charlize Theron nominated? For Mad Max? Probably not. No, she wasn't. Mad Max is not on here. That's not Us. surprising. Sorius Rona? Oh, you know who I want to win is I'm pretty maybe she's in supporting actress, but um uh the the hateful eight uh, what's I can't Jennifer remember. Jason oh, Lee. Jennifer Jason Lee, yeah, she was great in that movie. Jennifer Jason Lee. She must yep. be in supporting yes, she actress. Is. Okay, she Pretty should she should win that. Dope. She should probably be in lead actress, but they probably figure she has a better chance of winning in supporting actress. Yep. Alright, male actor Kristen Bale, the big shot. Mark Rylance, Bridge of Spice. 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 I don't know what to say. Spice. 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 Which I haven't seen Spotlight, but I really want to. Nominations Mark Ruffles got. I didn't think he deserved this one. I think he deserves the win because, mm. like, I've seen him in some stuff and he's been like kind of okay, but not like great. That, what's that movie about? Like bringing Spotlight. light to the pet, like pedophilia yeah, in the yeah, Catholic Church. Yeah. yeah. For which one? It's uh, Spotlight. uh, Spotlight's the one about. Um, it's about the the people who work for the Boston Globe. They run the Spotlight team, and they're the ones who write the article and do all the uh, uncovering about the pedophilia scandal in the in the Christian Church. Mm. Uh, that sounds really good. And uh, he's great in it. He just disappears into his character. I'm surprised Tom Hardy is nominated for that one. For mm -hmm. The Revenant? Yeah. Which I haven't seen him in it. Mad but Max. I hear he's not in it too much. And he's not nominated for Mad Max, which I can see that. But, I mean, he was really good at Legend. Legend wasn't that good of a movie, but mm -hmm. he was yeah, really good. Yeah, but he was really you good. You were raving about that, like, two he podcasts ago. Really, he was yeah. so good in it. He, I still rave about his performance. <laughs> he was so good in that movie. In two roles, <laughs> like, how do you usually get two Oscars, damn it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, actress in supporting roles, Jennifer Jason Lee for The Hateful Eight. She's my pick. Rooney, Mara, Mara, Carol, Mara, 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 Mara. I think I'm, Mara. I'm Tara. Yeah, Rooney, Mara. It's Mara, yeah. It's Mara. I, I mean, M-A-R-A-T-A-R-A. That's how she pronounces it. Yeah. Come on. All right, Rachel McAdams for Spotlight. Alice Vic Ander, the Danish girl. Oh, okay, so she should have been nominated for Ex Machina because she's the girl from Ex Machina. Oh, wait, is she? Yeah. Oh, okay. But she should have been nominated for that. The only female, <laughs> female movie. Kate yeah. Winslet Except for, the, uh, Asian for Steve robot. Jobs. Do you want to do directing? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll save Best Picture for last. Cool. The Big Shot. The Big Short. The big Short what? Yes, <laughs> The Big Short, sorry. That one um, I haven't seen. Adam McKay. Yeah. Which he's a director who uh, he's did like, yeah he yeah. did like Will Ferrell movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I dislike Will Ferrell with 
I yeah, that. I can see that. Like, I like some of his movies, but then like, uh, like the only one I like, like it's, oh, what is it? it's on Netflix movie. right now. It's the one where he's like the race car driver. Talladega Nights. Tal- oh, Talladega I, hate Nights. That movie. I only like that because I watched it with my dad, and we have lots of funny jokes mm. from it. Because like, I like the first like Anchorman. Like, yeah. The first Anchorman. Like, like, yeah, I like the first Anchorman. I like him in Zoolander. Oh yeah, yeah, Mugatu. He's in Zoolander. Yeah. You like Zoolander. I really like Zoolander. Do you Zoolander. not look like Zoolander? Zoolander? I really like that movie. I really like it. It's really I funny. don't know what you guys know, think what comedy is, but that is not comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this generation thinks comedy is anymore, but it's not. <laughs> okay, Mad Max, Fury Road, George Miller. Yeah. Right. That's pretty cool. He's like 70 years old. Uh, yeah, I know. This, uh... The Revenant. Al George. It's um Alejandro Alejandro. Alejandro Ale Alejandro Shout out Room Lean Lean Ab Oh that got best that's pretty cool. Ab- Looks like I'm seeing the Ab- room. <laughs> yeah, no, I really want to see the room. I right. and spotlight Tim McCarthy. Tom McCarthy. Hmm. Okay, so I I've seen a few of those or most of those. Uh, I feel like The Revenant might win. Because mm. Alejandro Gonzalez and Yuritu won last year for Birdman, and they might give it to him two years in a row, because like, it's kind of crazy that he did both of these movies. Yeah, that, yeah. That's kind of crazy, especially like how ridiculous The Revenant shooting was. He must mm. have been like doing press for Birdman while shooting The Revenant. Mm. So he must have yeah. been going from like L.A. and wherever out in the mountains where they were shooting. Maybe George Miller might get it. I, I, I kind of That would be so. pretty cool. That would be awesome if How cool that. would that be? I'd just feel so happy for the guy. Mm-hmm. The seven-year-old guy right? finally gets an Oscar. Uh, that, that'd be pretty cool. I'd be happy with that. Um, <laughs> the Big oh, yeah. Shot. <laughs> the Big Short again. The Big Short. <laughs> My dyslexic yeah. eyes hate me at the moment. Chug, 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 No, 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 this is mine, sir. Out of my face. <laughs> hey, Kid and turn that. Hey, Brooklyn by Nick Horn. Brooklyn by. with that Sorsha Ronan person. Ooh, you can taste more of it now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the vanilla ice cream adds like an accent onto there now. Careful, there's a spoon in there somewhere. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Sam, you want some too? Sure. Right. Get over here. Come get some as well. <laughs> Spread germs. The Martian in the Room. I've seen none. I haven't seen any of those. I haven't seen any of those yet. I haven't seen any of those yet, but The Room. room I feel sounds, like Room. Room sounds like the best in our yeah. highly uneducated opinion on the room. Which Spotlight might win. straight out of Compton. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That Inside movie. Out. That's an intense movie. Mm-hmm. For a Disney movie. Yeah. Or no, so that's not... Di- yeah, no, it's Disney. Yeah, Disney, Disney Pixar. X. X Machina. Oh, X Machina. Ex Machina. No. I forgot Bridge that came out last year. <laughs> Bridge of Spies. That came out like two years ago. This is fun fact. My great something, a relative of mine, spied on Hitler. Really? Like, that's right awesome. before he was like, Hitler! He was <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good de- depiction of depression for, like, kids and everything. Like, how they can see, like... Yeah. Like, we're not, we're not all lollipops and ice cream. Nope. <laughs> and it's like, kind of that thing when you find out Santa isn't real in your high life. She's kind of... What? Down. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. What? Tara! <laughs> He's only nine. <laughs> I don't, I'm sure it's going to win Best Animated Feature. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. I, I know it is, but Animal Yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Uh, Anomaly said deserves special consideration. Yeah. You want know, to uh, Dan Harmon produced that? What? Yeah, no way! Yeah, he produced that, and Charlie totally Kaufman. Uh, Charlie Kaufman wrote and uh, co-directed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely. Dan Harmon. Just watching Harman. Community. I started watching Community again. Really, I yeah. love that show I love so much. Dude, it's have you seen Rick and Morty? Yeah, first yeah. season. So, anyway, so out of those, um, your pick for uh, uh, um, uh, uh, X Machina. Oh, or straight out of count. No, nah, X Machina. Straight out of count is pretty cool. Uh, X Machina, I'll be happy with winning. Or uh, Spotlight, I could see winning because Spotlight mm. had um, a really tight script. Also, what do you guys think about that um, Oscars so white thing? The what? Say that again. You haven't heard about that? No. Say that again. There's like a like a hashtag trending and all this stuff about um how there were no uh, black actors nominated for any of the acting. Oh, characters. is this what fucking Jada Pinkett Smith was going on about or something? Uh, tons of people. Are there any she probably has. With. Oh yeah, she's like, yeah, boycott the Oscars because we don't have any black people on there. Shut the fuck up. Get out of my face. Are there any good movies with black actors? Yeah. 
There are, right? Yeah. That came out and, like, really, like, Oscar nominated. Idris Elba deserved an Oscar nomination for Beasts of No Nation. Like, uh-huh. hands down, mm-hmm. he deserved Best Actor for Beasts of No Nation. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was really good. Also, the kid in Beasts of No Nation, who's, like, who's, like, seven years old, he gave one of the best performances I've seen all year. Really? That was amazing. I'm thinking maybe they didn't consider it just because it was made for Netflix and they might not mm-hmm. consider yeah, it like a yeah, movie, but it is a movie. And see. it was in theaters. So, but I like feel really like the people so. nominating weren't like, you know what, this person's black, let's yeah. on the list. Like, I, yeah. I highly doubt it. I feel like, like, like they're going like by... When stuff um, like that happens, I highly doubt it's purely motivated by racism. Yeah. Like you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and think that they just weren't thinking about that, but at the same time, the and people who choose these things are uh, like 95% men, white men over the age of 70. Yeah. So there's obviously racism is like in their domain. (laughs) So you can't rule it out among them. It's pretty sad. And that might be kind of racist as well. I think it is. Like you're white, you hate everybody that's not white. white What? (laughs) Damn, I don't kiss. (laughs) Hey, um, best picture. The big shot. Big short. No, that's cool. She's from Boston. That's how she says it. <laughs> the big shot. The big shot. <laughs> the big shot. Bridge of Spies. Brooklyn. Mad Max. Bring him home. Oh, <laughs> no. The Martian. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> bring him home. On Those the picture. Bring him home is the tagline of the Martian. Bring home. They keep doing that on posters. That was really stupid. I know. It's like right on their kinda face. Like books. They put the author's name like this big on the yep. book, and then the title. And then the title is like, like this big. Yeah. That's how the, the new uh, Batman vs Superman poster is. Yeah. It says like see it in IMAX, huge, and then there's like a tiny little BVS at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, do you guys? Not that you want it to win, but do you think the Revenant's gonna win? I don't think it's going to win. You don't think so? Nah. No, I kind of agree. Win. I think it might win. It's going to win Best Cinematography, I'm pretty sure. It might win Best Director. I don't think it's going to win Best Picture, but it might. Mm. I haven't seen... Going up against some pretty strong movie. contenders. I I think... Uh, I mean, Spotlight's really good. I think... I don't think they're going to do it, but I think Spotlight's the one that they would go to if it was like... If it was like a shock. You know, if they were mm. like, what... What happened at the Oscars? This movie won. I think it would be Spotlight. Mm-hmm. You know, do you know does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing uh, movie ping pong. We played this once before in another video on our channel. Movie ping pong is uh, Tara over there is going to pick. Uh, we're doing directors this time, so she's going to pick a director, and then we have to go in a line back and forth. Uh, listing movies off of that director's filmography. If you can't think of one, you're out. Last person standing gets a I point. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm, you, <laughs> we, can, we don't you know I think you're better at this. <laughs> do, you, do you know how my brain works nowadays? <laughs> it, 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 no, he tried the devil's lens. <laughs> the first one to five points, and then how does the point system work? It's just uh, last person standing. The way it works yep. is um, uh, when you can't think of a, a movie off the director's filmography, you're out. Um, the person who wins, they need to name at least one, one more, more after yeah. the last person gets out. Hey, ready? James Cameron. Okay, that's a big one. So, do you want to start, Marco? I'm out. <laughs> you you know, out. James Cameron, come on. I'm not good with names, bro. I told you this before. I was about to tell you he's the director of... <laughs> it's like to remind you. The <laughs> what? Okay, so how about I go first and look, and then you maybe you'll know who we're talking about. Alright, yeah. Titanic. Right. Fuck you. Oh. Avatar. <laughs> oh. Demo. I'm out. I thought you did. Okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm not. I feel you. I would not be able to play this. Okay. okay. Uh, Terminator. Ooh. T2. Uh, he didn't do the third one. Did he not fucking direct T2? No, he did T2. I'm saying I don't think he did the third one, so I'm not going to say yeah, that. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I'll say, um, I'll say, uh, uh, I will say i will say i can not remember. <laughs> like, um, I know one, but I, I don't know. I'll say The Abyss. I'm pretty sure he did that. Yeah, he did do it, The Abyss. That's that. that was okay, on my mind. I remember, remember the South Park joke. I myself time to think of more because I'm having a hard time. He's dropping the bar lower. Are you ready? <laughs> Go. Five. Yeah, no, dude, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't think of any other... Okay, uh, aliens. You got it. One okay. point to Sam. Are you ready? And you can <laughs> play along at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play along at home. See how many movies you can Even name Even though they can kind of see my right screen. They're on like 21, 3. Uh, what else is there? They just pause it and they Google and they're like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, hey, mom, look. <laughs> I finally got her. Steven Spielberg. Thank you so much. Jaws. 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 Oh, we're going to yeah. Okay, E.T. Saving Preferred. 
I'm so fucking itchy. <laughs> One of the Twilight episodes. What? Yeah. One of what? the Twilight, Twilight Zone? Uh, yeah, Twilight Zones. Yeah. What? Oh. Is it right? What? No? I don't think so. No? What? I'm looking it up. What? <coughs> he did though, right? I think we Why? said that on TV anyway, but we didn't say it this time. Right? Shut the fuck up, Sam. Do you know any yeah, other movies? Sam. Do you know any other movies? Right? Um, I'm pretty sure I do. I just, they don't come to mind right now. Yeah, no. Yep, he's right though. He is? Bing. He is right. Oh, oh, you're talking about the Twilight Zone movie? Right, one of the second. Oh, one of the, the, the directors of the second. Oh, yeah, same here. Oh, yeah, I was like, that mm. definitely works. And yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Land Before Time. <laughs> Schindler's List. I think. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wasn't he really like a producer on that though? Oh shit! Yeah. Is he have to be a director? Does he have to be a director on it? Okay, right, so you're. Damn are son. Out? Yeah. Fucking oh um. Really hard for me. You got um, Lincoln. Shut the. Wait. Oh yeah, you're still. Um. Okay, so Lincoln. Wait, no, was that his turn? No, that was my. No, that was that was his turn. Mark that down. Lucas is out. Wait, I'm out? Lucas no, is out. Lucas is out. Stop pointing at me. <laughs> you little <Luke. laughs> And then I said Shinless Lesson. Oh, like, Shinless Lesson? Alright, um, damn, what do you call it? With the, uh, with the, uh, the alien and the, um, uh, you know. You no, did. he didn't. Did he direct that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, no, that was J.J. Abrams. That was J.J. Abrams. Yeah, darn it. Um, Super 8. Super 8. Uh, yeah, he did um, Yeah, he produced it. Yeah, he didn't. That was J.J. Abrams. Uh, no, I saw it on this list. Miso Miyato? Yeah, no, he's... No, he didn't turn Super 8. <laughs> no, let's just, no, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, J.J. Abrams. I don't know why it's on his director list. Can I get a point for that? No, no. you're out. Well, do you, do you want anything else? Yeah, uh... Um, ah... Uh, dang, I looked this up recently. Oh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Okay. There's, you got, uh... Name you all got thirty Lincoln, of the other ones. You got Lincoln, you got Amistad, you got, uh, Bridge of Spies, you mm, got smart. Duel, you got Castaway, you got ah, Castaway! Fuck. The Terminal! Fuck! Did he Catch direct that one? you can. Spielberg directed Jones. the Terminal. Really? Fuck. Indiana oh, Jones! Dude, we watched that in the history of motion art picture. Why? I thought that yeah. was all, all all for Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. The Color Purple, World of War. Is a war. Munich. World of War. 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 Oh my oh, wait, God. World of War uh, is the worst the thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. So, I hated that yeah. movie so much. <laughs> yeah, Jurassic oh, Park. What the was like the biggest one. Yeah. JJ Abrams. Okay, so you just had one. JJ. Oh, JJ Abrams. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, we won't steal it from you. Um, Star Trek. He doesn't have that many movies, though, so we might mm-hmm. run out. I mean, Star. Star Wars. My bad. <laughs> Fuck. Which, which one? <laughs> which Star Wars? Oh, he did both. Both. Uh, uh <laughs> fucking um, Star Star Trek. Fuck it. Star, right. Star Trek. Whatever. Um, Star Trek Two. What was the name of that yeah, one again? Say the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know the name. Shut, shut the fuck up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Star Trek the... Five. Fuck, what was four, it? Four. Shut the fuck up. Fuck it. Never mind then. Close the Get out of my face. <laughs> one. You best. He got Cloverfield. Um, I can't remember the fucking the full title. Yeah, whatever. He did direct Cloverfield, right? He directed yeah, direct it. I know he directed it. I mean, I know he produced it. I'm, I think he directed it. I'll say... Uh, I'll, I'll let you get the Star Trek because I know you I'll say yes. uh, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Oh. Um, J.J. Abrams, uh, Super 8? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll say yeah. Star Trek 2 in the Darkness. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> that's what it's called. Yep. Can I say Star Trek Beyond or no? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's coming up. No, yeah, no, you can. Oh, wait, yeah, I'll go and say No, not coming up movies. Right? Not coming up movies. Um. Wait, I, I think I just jumped ahead of you. What? I, I, th- I think I jumped ahead of you. I think it was your turn. So you can say the one I said. Because I think I went out of line. Oh, really? I think no, so. No, he was out. Is he out? Yeah, he was out. Oh, he what did see happening? Cloverfield. No, he was out. So it was your okay. turn. You got it. What? It's your turn. For what? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> J.J. Abrams. <laughs> oh, shit. Five. I don't even know. Yo, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, J.J. Abrams? Yo, then. <laughs> Two. Anything with, anything with soccer. One. I don't know. Sam, go. I don't know any other J.J. Abrams. I don't know if he's directed any other ones. I know he doesn't have that many. He's probably done like a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, you don't have any. Shut the fuck up with this. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible 3. Oh, right. Uh, oh, damn it. I do that somewhere. Shit, wow. All right. Cool. Is that the only other one? Yeah. So oh, wait, do you have... Like one more oh, no. I, I don't know. I can't. Oh, okay. It, it lists like everything he's done ever. Uh. It doesn't just list his director's list on Google because cool. IMDb oh, you're is on Google. not. Okay. IMDb is not working on my computer. Uh, so no one got a point on that one then. Yeah. George Lucas, go. Sam first. Oh, George Lucas. I don't. I like George Lucas. All right. All right. <laughs> Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Man, really didn't do that much. No, he did a lot. 
Um, Star Wars Episode Four. I mm-hmm. don't think he directed that. Yeah, he did. That's the first. That's that the original the Star Wars. Wars. Oh yeah, then yes, he did. Uh, George Lucas, uh, Indiana Jones. No, he, he did. The Lost. No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, he didn't uh, direct he, he, he like long. co-wrote them and produced them. He didn't direct them. Um, <laughs> George Lucas. I, I do not know. I'm gonna try. I. I I'm out. All right. Did he do episode six? Re- Return know. of the Jedi. Did he direct? That I know one? there's at least one. Because I know he didn't. He didn't direct, direct the the second know. one. I don't know which one was. It, it was the second one. Yeah. Okay. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. So he so didn't direct check that on, one. Check on that one. So uh, it's which which one are you saying? I said episode Return six. Return of the Jedi is the one you're yeah. going with. No, he did not direct that. No. Damn. Can I change my answer to episode one? No. Sure. <laughs> the Phantom Menace. <laughs> No, you're out. <laughs> you're out. Let's I'll go. say uh, I'll say that Red Tails movie. Red, Red Tails. Red Fuck. Tails. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Red Tail or the Red Tails. Red, Red Tails. Tails. No, I don't. He did Red Tails the movie about the Tuskegee Airmen. Yeah. No. What? what? Who directed that then? <laughs> he no, He definitely did that. Okay, Red Tails, 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Director Anthony Hemingway. <laughs> what? Um, Wait, I, I didn't even see George, George Lucas anywhere on here. I, I saw uh, the Red Letter Media did a video about him directing that and how it was so bad. I, here, I'll check on another source. Oh, that's crazy. Does, does Mr. Plinkett fuck with you? I guess so. Mr. <laughs> Plinkett <laughs> lied to me. Plinkett Mr. Plinkett Mr. Plinkett lied to me. <laughs> okay, I found another source. You are correct. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what's On happening? IMDb, it does not credit him. On Google, it does. Okay. Mm. So, Mr. Pl- sorry, Mr. Also, Plinkett. Also, if you type in Phantom Menace in Google, the very first thing that comes up is Phantom Menace Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened? Do we throw that one out? Or okay. Yeah, let's... Hey, yeah, so. right, let's... Damn it. One Lucas. more round. Uh, hey, you're gonna... Hey, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. yeah. Quentin Tarantino. Uh, Markel. Just give it the same. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter no more. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. Ooh, good choice. Thank you, good choice. I'll say uh, Django hey. Unchained. Pulp Fiction. Um, hey, for it. What? Hey, for it. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> why did I just lose this? Inglorious Bastards. Jackie Brown. I just bleh, uh, left. Shit. Fucking, uh. Damn. Oh, dude. Five. Four. No. He's only got a couple more. Did you say Jackie yeah. Brown yet? Yeah, I said Jackie okay. Brown. Okay. Um, fuck, which one was it though? Did he direct one of them? Oh, 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 fucking. F- um, um, three three rooms. Three rooms. He, di- he directed a segment in that movie. You don't have the title read though. <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> Five, <laughs> um, he did, but the title's wrong. Right. I know. Three, two, one. You're four out. rooms. <laughs> You got it right after the time. <laughs> it is called four rooms. Is it four yeah. rooms, Sam? I thought it was three rooms. I already Sam. Rooms. One more. Yeah, four rooms. <laughs> I'll just say four rooms. You cheat. No, a different one. It's uh, death proof then. Okay. Oh, that oh, was awesome. I was, was like in my Grand head. House Presents. I was like, which one? I said one Kill was Bill. Bill. Fucking death both killed him. Yeah. All right, thank you for watching this episode of the Texas Chainsaw Disco Podcast. If you would like, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. We don't have a Twitter. Shut the fuck Facebook up, Sam. Lucas. Follow us on Snapchat. Uh, like us on LinkedIn. Follow my bunny on Instagram, Zeus underscore the bunny. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.